Well, it is Derby in Louisville, Kentucky week, and we're excited for this little race. Now, these guys probably have a little bit of gas every once in a while, but there's also gas on gas trains that you need to make sure that you're testing. Today on the Boiling Point, Jude's going to go over actually how to test those um, gas trains. Now, if you go out to Weekly Boiler Tips, he is doing a series on different methods for doing that, so make sure you check that out today on the Boiling Point. A lot of insurers are wanting leak tests done on gas trains annually, and we're going to look at a few different ways that we leak test a gas train both externally and internally. Uh, on an external test, what we're looking for on our gas train is basically gas coming out of joints in our piping. Um, things can move over time, shift, pipe dope gets old, etc. So um, testing that's important. There's a couple different ways that we can test our gas train. Um, one way doing this external testing is with a leak detector. Um, if we're going to test with a leak detector, we can do a portion of the test with the boiler off up to the first safety shutoff valve. But in order to test the rest of the gas train, we'll have to be firing the boiler or else we won't have gas pressure in that half of the component. So first thing we've got to do is allow our gas detector to calibrate. And we're going to go find some outside air to do that. It's important to calibrate any sort of gas sniffer outside so that we have fresh air. If we try to calibrate this in a boiler room, if there's a gas leak present, um, it could give us an error in our calibration and, and it's not going to be reliable or safe. Generally with our leak tester, we're going to sniff any point um, on the gas train where there's a joint. These are typically really sensitive, so they may pick up a leak. Um, if it does, we'll usually follow up with a soap check, which I'll demonstrate as well to um, show you how to narrow down the location a little bit. If I have a leak, the beep frequency is going to accelerate. Um, but you'll want to look at the uh, instruction manual on any tester that you have to verify that um, its mode of operation. Okay, let's see what we got there. This is a leak detection product. Um, if all else fails, you can really just use dish soap and water. Anytime we can test um, is better than not testing. And generally, we're just going to shoot this soap on any joint and fitting. Then we're going to come back in a minute and have a closer look at it. So while we're letting those bubbles develop, we can go ahead and continue to test. You just have to remember that natural gas rises, so generally we're going to test at the top of the piping connections. Anything after the shutoff valve, we're going to have to test once we've got the unit running. So we've got a really small leak here at a test port, and because of the condition of the tape on this fitting, I'm going to go ahead and remove it, clean it, and we'll put it back together. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble this with a uh, natural gas rated sealant on it. Then I'll respray it, make sure we don't get any bubbles. So testing a gas valve to see if it's leaking through is a little bit more complicated because I can't spray the inside of the pipe with soap. So what I'm going to do is isolate the pipe downstream and connect tubing downstream of the gas safety shutoff valve. Then we can monitor this. If there's a leak in the fuel valve, we'll get bubbles out the end of this tube and we'll know that we've got gas passing through the valve. Once the unit's firing, we'll go ahead and leak test the gas train from the safety shutoff valve 
to the burner manifold. One spot that's very valuable to test and that makes these worth the trouble is the gas valve actuator. Because sometimes the valve stem can leak within the actuator and there's really no way to test that with bubbles. So if we take the sniffer to the window of the actuator, it'll usually pick up the leak if it's present. So the burner is pretty loud when it's running, so a lot of leak detectors will have an LED indicator um, if it does find a leak. And we had indication right here, so I went ahead and sprayed it with soap, and yep, we got a leak there too. So that's a perfect example of why this is a good test to do, and thanks, I'm going to have to go get a bigger wrench. Well, appreciate Jude stepping in and talking a little bit about gas leaks. Now, if you are not comfortable with doing that, obviously it is dangerous with natural gas, make sure that you get with the service company and let them come out and check out for leaks. And um, you know, this might just be better for you, just kind of clear, clear the air, if you will, and just making sure that it's all safe. So like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, share the videos. Hey Jude, did you say that you needed a bigger wrench for that?